Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to Millionaire Gaming. So today we're playing Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam for the PS2. It's been a little bit since I played this game, and uh, you know, I'm here with someone special. You know him, you love him. Say your name. Real bits back again after a while. You know, I've come out of the the dust, I've reemerged. It's been a long time since you actually were last in our video, man. Like how long has it been, honestly? I don't remember, like, what, three, four months, maybe? Yeah, it's it's been a while. Um, but, you know, it's good to have you back, man. It's it's always a pleasure to have you. Good to be back. Here. I'm glad to be back, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so, as you see, we're playing some downhill jam, and I'll, I'll tell you, man, this game still pisses me off, dreadfully. And, uh... I'll say this uh, this ending is uh, a very long video, and I feel bad for the people who have to watch it today, but it's going to be a long video. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I've never went through the hassle of actually playing this game myself. I mean, I did, but I never beat it. So, tell me, man, do you regret playing all the way through? Do you wish you could have just given up at any moment like I did? Sometimes, yeah, I actually really did. Like, at times, <laughs> it was pissing me off because... In this video, uh, I actually had like multiple times where my PlayStation 2 would actually stop working. Like I'd be recording mid uh, midway, and it just would stop. It would just freeze up. I was like, "What the actual hell? Why is this doing this?" And um, it just pissed me off. Like it would never explain what was going on, and like it's it was just uh, it pissed me off so much. Was it the disc? No, it actually. I found out if you do a certain thing, like if you use certain, like if you use a code or something, and you know playing around with it. Yeah. I was doing it, and um, I ended up, it ended up freezing your console. Damn. So, so they're like, whenever you use a cheat on the slim, uh, the slim PS2, it'll freeze your system. So it fucked it up constantly, and it was, oh, it was so bad. It was annoying as hell. You know, at least this was a new concept to the Tony Hawk series. Like, I get that's kind. Of, this is kind of what he wanted. Tony wanted like in the original game to be, but I don't know, man. I'm glad that it didn't go this route full time because I couldn't imagine having like, for example, how like this was kind of like a one-off thing. I couldn't imagine having like a normal pro skater game be a one-off thing, and the other games like all the other games being downhill jam like this because. I just don't, I personally just never played this game that much because I didn't find it fun. I found it fun to watch, but I found it really stressful and not fun to play. The first few levels I could do, but the rest just kind of got annoying and it's probably just because I suck at it. But I don't know, man. I've never really preferred to play these ever. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest game if I'm quite fair. Um, it would piss me off at times. Like, especially yeah. these, this, like, one. It's a slalom run, so you have to, like, get as much rings as you can, and you have to make it to the gate unless, uh, in order to pass the level. And it was so tedious as hell, because, like, you could get so many points and all this stuff, and you would automatically fail. And sometimes you have to, like, rush really hard to do it. As you see, I, I made it within, like, six seconds left. Yeah, I know, that's... You know... It's really annoying when you're going when you have to go so fast and you have to collect something that's like in a small range because it's just you have to keep looking and you're tempted to turn around but if you turn around you know it takes time away it's really annoying it really is and as you've seen we actually have to get a lot of points in order to actually rank up and I had to do a lot of backtracking on this game so I can make enough points. So, like, some of that stuff was off-camera. But, like, I would just do it to the point where it it was getting really, really annoying. Like, I would play this on my days off in the morning, and it was just, just tedious as all hell, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, at least you don't have to do it now. Yeah, thank God. But, um, yeah, I wish I could say the characters, you know, I wish there was a little bit more of variety. There, are, I mean, there are different, like, you know, variants of them. You know, you get clothes and stuff after you do, like, certain challenges and stuff, which is cool. But, like, I always stuck with my, uh, you know, custom skater because he's cool. You know, he looks like freaking uh, OG, uh, like, 2D from, like, the Gorillas. 
That's why I always go for like that aesthetic, because it's the same model from um, American Wasteland. I go for like an extreme punk rock aesthetic, you know, the yeah. spiky hair, the black vests, all that stuff. Of course. When I play these games. And uh, of course, I add these uh, these really cool like uh, vans on there. You know, I, it's funny. I like vans, but I also like Nike. You know, it's kind of weird to say. Nike is good. I wear Nike a lot. I wear Vans, Nike, Converse, sometimes even Adidas. I, I've only had a few pair of Adidas in my life, but mostly like Vans and you know Nike right now in my life. I don't know. Yeah. You ever go through those like phases of just like wearing different like types of shoes? Yeah, definitely. That's how I'm feeling it. You know, man. Definitely feels nice to be back, especially now because we can say whatever we want to say and nobody can do anything about it now that the dislike button's removed, pretty much. It's pretty yeah. much useless now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, it, like, it, that whole, you know, disabling stuff, it was kind of annoying. It really was. Yeah, I mean, that button is like, it's there, but what, what can you do with it? Yeah, it was there, and, like, I think... People like to spam it. Like, you ever get, like, you make a video and then, like, they just randomly just freaking put a dislike on it and you, they haven't even watched it? Yeah, I mean, that is annoying and stuff, but at the same time, it is nice to see dislikes. I wish they would have made it an option rather than a forced thing. Even then, if it was an option, people would have just flicked it on if people were hitting the dislike button. But still, like, uh, just the fact that it's forced kind of bothers me just because you can't really see how are you gonna know if a video is good or not like for me i instantly knew a video was a troll or it wasn't a good tutorial if it had a bunch of dislikes i think pewdiepie made a good example when he said that too and now i can't use that as a reference i have to read the comments <laughs> yeah it's pretty much dislikes are pretty much the equivalent to dislikes on comments they don't really do anything that you, well i think disliking a comment pulls it down further i think from like the top comment list but that's about it yeah i feel that but whoever actually dislikes comments i don't know i mean i don't even it's kind of a feature that i even forget exists do you remember the era of like youtube when they would uh say comment removed flagged for spam or yeah yeah oh, i hated those times I just miss the good old days of YouTube back when, you know, because I've been on YouTube since, jeez, uh, either 2012 or 2013. I know that was, that's not too old compared to some people, but I, even that era of YouTube was a lot better than the era that we had. I miss 2012 YouTube, 2013 YouTube. Oh yeah, dude. I remember that shit. I remember, uh, even 2014 YouTube. I remember being in school watching YouTube, you know, before class and stuff. And like it was cool. I, I miss that though, like those days and stuff for sure. Now YouTube just—it's still good. I mean, it's not the worst website, and I mean it's obviously one of the most visited websites daily. Yeah, it's not like you know some of the other sites that they have. You know, yes. There was a top three sites that I could list off the top of my head that YouTube. Or, uh, that people visit a day. You might have to put a censorship on what I'm about to say. I, is it? <laughs> God, yeah, I know. It's just, it's rough to say. <laughs> yeah, Corn Hub and freaking some other ones, too. But, but um, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Uh, so I just realized you're gonna have to censor that. My fault. No, you're good. Um, so have so a little update on anything in your life. You know, anything new, anything exciting. You know, it's been a while since you know my channel seen you, and you know they always miss you and stuff. They miss why our chem it? they miss our chemistry. Yeah, I was about to say, man. Why is it every time you ask me how I'm doing, I always make the, I always say the same thing. Well, the ex girl's gone. And I found somebody else. <laughs> Just like normal. Hopefully this one actually works. 
I've known this person longer than I've known any of the other people I've talked to. Actually, I've known you longer than I've known. Him. You're the oldest. You're the you're the oldest person I know out of my friend group. Yeah. Um, but besides that, I've known her for four years. So maybe this, well, maybe that will help if you know what I mean. Yeah. But um, yeah, that and school's just been a pain. But you know, hopefully I graduate and I don't get screwed over. And uh, you know. So I'm guessing the mall is. Nice. It is what it is. So how are you liking that PS5, by the way? PS5's great, man. Um, the graphics are good, the performance is great, the SD card is really great. And um, I do plan to get the new Xbox soon, too, but once it's more available, I'm not willing to pay more than retail for that. Yeah. Um, I'm content with the One S that I have right now, but definitely with the PS5, I, I wanted to get that as soon as I could. So how do you feel about uh, Skate 2 coming to uh, Xbox One, by the way? It made me really happy because every time I'd go to play Skate, I'd want to play all of them together. And I'd dread having to play Skate 2 because I just, for some reason, my TV, the old gen consoles just don't look that good. Yeah. On my old TV. So, um, you know, the graphics just never look good. And this is an issue that I've had on my PS3 and on my 360, but um, my controllers for both of them are slightly messed up, just slightly, you know? The yeah. thumbstick on my PlayStation is slightly messed up, which is no big deal, but for a game like Skate, it's a huge deal. And yeah. um, my buttons on my 360 controller are messed up, so it's hard to push and do all that other stuff. So I couldn't really play Skate 2. I didn't enjoy it. Um, and stuff like that, but I loved the game. I always remember loving the game, so it just sucked, you know? Oh, there's that one, uh, skip that I was telling you about, like, my PS2, like, froze right there, as you saw. It just yeah, randomly that's, stopped. That's, you know, that's really unfortunate, especially when you're recording videos, because that, that can be a real pain to deal with. Yeah, so it's like, I didn't, like, you know, abruptly want to do, like, just re-hole, redo everything, and it's just like, it pissed me off so much because it's like it you're trying to beat the damn game you've been working on it for months and just that happens and it's like you are an ass oh yeah guys he has been working on this for months because i remember like a long time ago him talking about starting this yeah because it was it's been like three months i, I started in like september or august i did it right around my birthday that's when i started this thing yeah, that was a while ago for a video or a series. Well, I guess, yeah. But, um... You know, at least it's finally coming to an end. Now you can move on. What's the next Tony Hawk game? Um... Damn. There's not really many I have left. The only ones yeah. that I have technically left... Is Pro Skater 3 for PlayStation 1, as well as, you know, Shred and Ride. But I don't think I'm gonna ever, you know, buy those myself. Have you done the PS2 copy of um, Proving Ground? I have not, but I have it. I enjoyed that, actually. Believe it or not, I've played the PS3 version fully. I know what that experience is like, but I still was able to enjoy the PS2 version. And I think that is just because of how... It's just weird to play. It's really weird to play such a familiar game, but it's it, it feels like a different game just because of how the animations are, as well as the map is a lot smaller, each map is a lot smaller, and you can't freely go to them. So, it's it's really weird, but I enjoyed it, so that's one game I think you would enjoy playing for the channel. I think or one... you can always play 3 on PS1, because I remember how fun it was playing 4 on PS1. Dude, 4 on PS1 sucked. It really sucked so <laughs> bad. Like you... I remember that rage night when you turned into Mickey Mouse. Dude, that was not fun at all. Cause like, what time were we up till? Like three in the morning doing that? Dude, we were up till three in the morning. It was in the summer, and at least I think it was. Even if it wasn't, it was during the virus. Is uh, really heavy, you know, heavy hitting time when my school was still virtual. Yeah, that was like during that time, and that was like and after. I, I, I even after, think. Yeah, it was after. Were, I, it was after I had uh, caught it. Yeah. I was gonna ask, I didn't remember if it was at a time where you still weren't at work yet, or... 
How long did your work uh, close for? Uh, my work never closed. Um, I was oh, really? out. Yeah, I was only on quarantine for two weeks. Damn. So it was like I did that for the two weeks, and then like, but that was in April. So we were talking about summertime for us. No, I mean like when it first hit, like. The, oh. When it. When it first hit for me, um, uh, work never like closed. At, at all like we were just you know having to be careful you know fa uh, like wearing masks and stuff never like anything else uh, I got you I was just curious cuz I remember honestly man I haven't been to it's just it's weird going to uh, getting education and stuff again but it's just it's strange how many teachers have went away from books yeah, I, I kind of miss those days when I was in school when we used to be actually using like textbooks and stuff, not like other stuff like that, you know, they always, I remember in particular, my one math teacher, she would only like show one thing on the board and then we have to figure it out ourselves and it was so tedious because like, I'm like, how am I supposed to learn something if I couldn't do it? And it sucked because because of her, I ended up having to go to night school, and no, it's just that was an ordeal at, in itself. Yeah, I almost said a demonetizing word. Yeah, heck that, dude. That is, um, that is honestly, I hate extra learning. I hate after school learning. I hate before school learning. I hate night school, summer school. All that stuff is just really annoying. So I've had to do summer school before as well as night school. I've done summer school like two times and night school my, I think my senior, no, not my senior year, my junior year and my sophomore year of high school. My and junior it, year was a breeze with virtual. <laughs> see, uh, I had virtual school when I was a sophomore. Oh, really? What happened? Uh, I only had to do a class. That was the whole other thing. You had to do one class, and that was it. And I, uh, at first, I chose to do um, photography, but I couldn't do it because I didn't have a good camera. And after that, I had to go to um, to driver's ed because I was gonna do French, but they wouldn't let me do it. So I said, I'll just do, you know, I'll do freaking, um, I'll just do driver's ed. It was the easiest thing. I passed it, and then, you know, I was able to go on with my day. My school doesn't have a driver's ed course, but there was talk about it today, people saying how they should. Yeah. I don't know why they don't. I mean, they're, the other courses that they have in my school are so stupid. I don't know. I don't know why what they do would do that. So, yeah. so out of curiosity, how was your Thanksgiving, man? My Thanksgiving was alright. I visited my mom and her boyfriend on, the, on their farm, and um, I had thanksgiving with them and then i went back to my house had it with my father and that was good too and uh yeah it was just like you know had some good stuff so i can't complain that's good wasn't as nice as the it used to be though but it was still okay yeah that's understandable though man what about you man mine was pretty good um, I ended up uh, going over to my aunt's sister's place. We uh, had like family dinner there. We just, you know, talked, had some dinner. It was kind of awkward because, you know, normally I, I stay at home during that day just like, you know, eating food and stuff with my mom, you know, with a cat. Whether it be, you know, watching a series and, you know, other stuff like that. That's what we usually do, but this year they wanted us to go out. And uh, uh, we also ended up uh, having to work the day after which was really rough because um i ended up having to work on black friday and it was rough I, I hate working on black friday really yeah that's one of the worst days yeah i would imagine especially where you work too yeah it's just it's not fun people come flocking for deals yeah it's uh it was not fun Especially because I had a full day that day, and it was just tiring as hell. Well, was it tiring, or was were, were people hectic there, like, rushing and stuff? So, it was pretty hectic. Um, I was with, like, two other people that day, and um, 
it was just really busy more so than anything because uh yeah it was it was just not good I, I, I it it was not fun i don't really like trying to say my you know workplace but it's not fun it's not fun there that day um, yeah yeah i don't imagine it being fun really working anywhere on black friday yeah they actually had a movie called black friday which was interesting if i'm quite honest oh, did you see it yeah was it good it was interesting. It's not. It was like more of like a B budget film. Oh, I got you. It wasn't horrible, but it was not good either. It was just like pretty much the whole premise of it was like there was a bunch of people having to work on Black Friday, and then like a monster comes from the store and just pretty much destroys their store, and like it was just it was something else for sure. Nice. That seems like an interesting movie. <laughs> it was. Um, what about you? Have you been playing any new games, man? Because I've been playing some stuff off camera, but I haven't really like done something enjoyable too too much on the channel. Played Vice City the Rem or Definitive Edition. It sucked. I played San Andreas. I played until the last mission because I was like. I don't feel like playing anymore. Literally, right at the end, I just lost motivation just because I did not like the game that much. And then, um, I'm gonna play 3 whenever I get around to beating San Andreas, but... Yeah, I've yeah. really just been doing that. I've been playing Tony Hawk again, though, lately, so... I also have been playing, um, po uh, Pokemon Coliseum for the GameCube. Oh, really? Um, that, it's a good game, dude. Like, the soundtrack is really good. Like, I, know. I don't know. Something about Pokemon soundtracks I just really enjoyed. Yeah. I, I think Pokemon have really good soundtracks. Most Nintendo games do. So have you, um, have you seen any new anime series lately? Not really, no. Haven't really watched any new ones. How about you? Uh, besides the current one, Tokyo Ghoul, but I haven't really seen anything else right now. Tokyo Ghoul's good. So, uh, how's your uh, music going? I'm still making it. I hope to get a mixer for Christmas to make better noise, but, you know, I think it's coming along well. Aw, oh, dang. Is this another freeze? Yes. Mm. Damn, dude, that's... And it's like, in that... It's been in that same map, too, it seems. It really is. And it, it just, it, it really bothers me because, like, you try so hard to just Some finish the, the stupid challenge, and then they just screw you over like that. It's, like, very annoying, you know what I mean? Yeah. So man, uh, so have you thought of like any new uh, videos for your channel or any ideas? Yeah. Not really, man. I kind of just upload randomly. Yeah. Do you remember uh, our inter-species uh, reviewers video, man? Oh, I love that video. Yeah, it was. Honestly, that has to be like a highlight of. 2020, uh, either 2020 or 2021. Honestly, yeah, it's just definitely. it was such a great video. It, it took so long to edit, though. That's the only thing that was the downfall. That, uh, yeah, both of our because I remember we both made a video about it, yeah, together, both, yeah, for both of our channels. And both of our videos took a while to down or to edit. Yeah, cause definitely. We, I remember because it was me and you talking. It was like a good 40 minutes, and then we also did the gameplay as well as like having to screenshot every freaking character, as well as uh, censoring, censoring them. It. <laughs> yeah, censoring yeah. them. Oh, dude, that that was so much work for effort to only get that yellow mark. Because I know was, we still got it. Yeah, and we censored it. We censored everything. I even did it for comic relief on the censoring. Yeah, but you know what? At least we still had fun making it, though. Yeah, that's the what matters. Dude. Like we just, we just made it fun and just like had a good time, you know. We definitely did. That was 
that was a blast, dude. I, those days, man. Were so simple, man. Besides that, and then, you know, uh, what was the other video? The uh, Tony Hawk soundtrack listing? That was fun, too. Oh, yeah. It's crazy how much things changed, man, but in my life since that video we did. Well, dude, it's been, you know, a couple months, and plus, you know, life happens, you know, we all get busy and stuff. But, you know, it's we're still good friends, you know, we're still fucking talking, you know, good buds. I, we talk pretty much every fucking day. Like, I'll, I'll send him, like, a streaks on Snapchat and stuff, you know, just to make sure he's still alive. Yeah, if it wasn't for our streak, you know, uh, no one would know if I'm alive. I'm very quiet, you know. But we have a what 900 and well today will be 901 day streak. Yeah, that's almost that's almost three years. We're getting close to a thousand days in about 99 days. Dude, it's crazy. I know. Less than a year, we'll have a thousand days on our streak. It's it's just crazy because like we didn't even mean to have a streak either. It just happened. Yeah, it just kind of happened. But uh, yeah, <laughs> speaking of like the streaks. What is your longest streak, not including mine? Besides, let me check, because my phone's actually right next to me as we're talking. So, currently, my longest streak besides ours is 13 <laughs> days. No Damn. Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite impressive. No, yeah. That's awesome. And then I have a four-day one. One of them has a, two of them have a timer. One of them doesn't, and then ours doesn't, and then that's it. The rest of them are just people, either me leaving them on open or them leaving me on open. Ah, uh, so I think my, like, longest is 1,631 days. That's a lot of days. It's a couple of years, man. I'll be honest. A lot of Snapchat updates. Yeah. Freaking, um, I think it's that. And then it's like another one's like 1185 days, and then it's yours. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't really do. That. Only, honestly, I don't really do streaks, too. That's the thing. So, the reason, well, the main reason, there's two reasons why I do it with you is because A, we're really good friends, and two, it's just, it just happened to get really, really big. And I just, he was like, oh, now I kind of care about it because it's like getting, it's growing in numbers. Yeah, dude, it's like, you care about it, and then it's like, because I remember it's like, if we didn't have that, we would always, like, you know, message each other little by little on Discord or, like, Instagram and stuff, and, like, you know, it'd be fun, dude, for sure. The other thing is, too, it's like, we we barely ever get the timer. I think out of our entire streak, we've only gotten a timer three times. Yeah, and I think that was, like, when you were doing something. Having a rough, those were when I was having rough days and I just didn't talk in the morning. Yeah, but I would always like, you know, send it in the morning anyway, because I get up pretty early in the morning, you know, for, you know, work or just life in general. <laughs> I mean, I sleep a lot, though. I, I really do. Like, I, I work and then I sleep and then I wake up, like, like at five in the morning. Yeah, dude, sleeping after work or anything or after you've had a long day is so nice. It really is, especially if you have like a full day. So, for sure. So, my dude, do you have any plans for Christmas, like, by any chance? One of my mom's. Oh, yeah? And my my uncle's. And then, um, going back to my dad. So. Uh, that yeah, sounds just like fun, though. Yeah, um, yeah, kind of. I mean, it has its moments, you know? It's not, yeah, I mean, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, to be honest. For me, at least. But, at least it's something, you know? I yeah, really, for sure. For Christmas, I, I used to go to my uncle's place. And then, um, now I'm just kind of, you know, just gonna probably stay home, you know, watch, you know, a little, you know, movies and stuff. Because it's like... I work Christmas Eve, and I, I'm off Christmas Day, and I'm off that Sunday. So, it'll be good. But, like, it just kind of sucks, you know? Cause yeah. I gotta work Christmas Eve. Out of curiosity, how much longer even is this video? This is a long video. I told you, it's it's a long video. It's I And mean, we're only at, we're at 30 minutes. We have, like, 28 minutes left. I know, sorry, 22 minutes left. 
Jeez, man, <laughs> this is a this, this is a good uh, ending though. You always gotta end the last video of the series off longer, you know. Yeah, cause that's how I usually try to do it. That's the same thing when I did it for like proving ground on the 360. Like the last video was like 44 minutes long, and like yeah. surprisingly, people actually watched it, which was really interesting to see. And um, I'm hoping you know it goes for the same thing for this one, because well, like. You He's know, gonna you, have interesting commentary. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, it's it's just kind of like a wrap up of just like everything that's just been going on in life right now. I think the one thing I like about our videos is like we don't talk about the game and milk information about the game for 50 <laughs> minutes. We just talk about random stuff while people can watch the game. Yeah, see, it's not like I'm trying to do like most you know content creators where they're like oh at faking expressions when like. They already know what happened. Like I already know that shit. It's just so stupid. Like that's never. What been are we made. about to do? What are we, are we about to grind this? Are we about to grind this, guys? Okay, hold on. Doing this move. Okay. Oh, we're grinding. We're grinding. We're going down. We're going down. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah I, like... I genuinely don't even know what's about to happen. Guys, just so you know, when we do these videos together, I don't see the footage ahead of time, so it's kind of like watching the video for me. A little bit without commentary yeah so I'm kind of watching with you guys as I'm speaking the stuff that you're seeing I'm seeing for the first time too in a way yeah sometimes it's cool sometimes like it takes a lot of like just time and effort and energy but it's worth it you know and there is the final board that we needed a goddess of speed in which is the best board just a lot of speed wobbles that's the only thing I hated about it oh yeah yeah, but I will say the ending for this game is very anticlimactic. Sure it is Isn't it? quite that? a disappointment. Again, it is it? It really much is because it just like is it some kind of I don't want to. I mean, you're gonna see it eventually, but pretty much um, you get one final race and it's against a character that uh, that went crazy, and then pretty much uh, that's it. That you just race them. There's no ending, and then they just go to credits. That's it. Well, that's uh, that sucks. Yeah, it's very anticlimactic, as I said. Do I? I mean, do I like the ending? Not really. It's not like proving. I mean, like Project Dates or freaking um, you know, the other games like Underground or Underground 2, where they actually had a good ending to it. You know. Yeah. Where you get to punch Eric Sparrow in the face and get the tape. Or having, like, you win the World Destruction Tour. Oh, shit. Here we go. I keep forgetting that you have to censor that. It's just out of habit. No, you're good, dude. Don't worry. Um, you ever, like... You ever play any of the Tony Hawk games on the PSP though? Besides, like when we were playing it on my channel. I've played Tony Hawk's to uh, Underground too. I want to play other ones though, because I have a PSP emulator on my computer that I want to put to more use. I you I got it just to play Bloodlines. The thing is, I have a PSP and I have all these games that I'm emulating. It's just that. I would like to play them on a controller with a big screen rather than handheld with a small screen, if that makes any sense. You know, I just like it more that way, playing it in a big screen. No, that's understandable. Oh, this is something I like. I know, uh, for me, I would probably want to do, like, uh, it on the actual stuff, but sometimes it just looks very, like, I don't know, it just kind of looks downgraded almost but like sometimes it, it it's almost nostalgic in its own special way yeah and for me too especially because i grew up playing the ps2 versions of these games um of like project 8 and stuff because i didn't have a ps3 until like a couple of years three four years after the ps3 first came out but i gotta say i really enjoyed the ps3 it had a long life cycle too yeah well, that's the same thing with me. Like, I never got a, a Xbox 360 until I was in, hmm, middle school, high school, almost. So I got that, and then you know, I remember you know playing my PlayStation 2, my Wii, and stuff. You know, thinking that's the biggest, you know, greatest things. 
And then I guess as I got older and then, you know, I ended up coming up with, like, you know, work and stuff, I ended up, you know, getting the, uh, the Nintendo Switch, you know, the PS4, Xbox One, and then now I have the PS5, you know, all that good stuff. And it, it, it's good. Like, I really enjoy all that stuff. You know? Um, and then, you know, yeah. as I have the, you know, the 3DS capture card and all that shit, too. Uh, I, I need to use that 3DS capture card more often, dude. Like, it just sucks that it's just kind of there. I only do, like, bits I know, and you were so happy to get it, too. It's hard to record off of it, because, like, I can't record my voice as well as record the footage because I have to do some weird finagling with it and it's terrible. That's fair. But, you know, I, it is what it is. So, uh, so Trio Bits, aka as Jared. So, what do you think of them furries, man? I gotta, uh, I gotta ask. Well, you know... Oh yeah, it, it really is, dude. Like, you know, you can't, you can't, you know, always poke fun at, you know, them furries. But nothing against them, like, Yeah, by nothing any against furries or anything. I'm cool with everybody, but... I just, it's, it's funny to mess with people. I like to mess with all different ki uh, types of people, you know? So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. What about, uh, remember Hyena Sussman? Hyena Sussman, yeah, we told that story, I think, already, hadn't we? Uh, we only told a little snippet of what happened with him. Well, we have time, so... <clears throat> so... Me and him were trolling on Omega Night, and we came across a furry, and he... We were looking for a third member for a trio. We wanted to make a trio video on YouTube. Ended up not happening. We had to do a duo, which was fine, but... We were looking for a third guy, because our other guy ditched on us, because we didn't give him money. And, um... We weren't getting money either. I was not getting money for the... By the way, before anybody asks. Yeah. And... Um... Basically... We were talking to him, and then he gave us his Discord. And he asked us if we want to see his private images, and we nicely declined. We did not want to see private image. If you yeah. guys don't know private image folder as Instagram at first, right? You got the normal images that you post and then there's private images, meaning you post like inappropriate photos and stuff like that. And um, you can't get in trouble for it if it's in your private category. Um, but one thing that I'll say is that he was talking to us and his music taste was bad, his video games are bad, but he did offer to be in the video if we bought him like a $60 pair of pants, what was it? Pants, no, a no, game? He, no, he wanted a game, he wanted us to, what was the, I can't remember the damn game. Was it said, die, wasn't it Dead by Daylight for the Steam? Yeah. Yeah, and But he, he wanted like all the expansions too. Yeah, and he didn't even have a PC, though. That's the thing. He had a PS4. He asked us to buy him a PC. And, like, this was unironic, too. Like, not as a joke. And we were like, dude, we just met you yesterday. We're not gonna buy you a PC. And we laughed, because we thought he was joking. And we were like, you know, this guy's funny. But then, once we found out he was being serious, we were like... Um, yeah, it was it was just an odd situation. Yeah, so we just kind of quit talking to him. And then one day, he out and blocked us on everything. So. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, okay, uh, you know, okay, whatever you say, man, like, I, I, I don't know, man, like, some of the people that we've encountered over the years, it's just interesting people, you know, like, oh, Emily, sure. you know, like, Emily, freaking, you know, Sublime, uh, and whoever else we've, uh, encountered, you know, mm. they're all, yeah, I, I mean, I'm weird, I'll be honest, yeah, I have my you moments. For, you for Sublime. Hmm. What? Hashtag you for sublime, not the band, but you sublime the person. Yeah, I, I just I didn't want to say the name, so that's what oh, I I just say sublime. We'll call her sublime, but yeah. Who else was there? Um. Shit. Lilith. 
There yeah. was also Lilith. And there was a. Uh, Mads. Yeah, that was a. Uh, that, dude, that one was just too odd for my taste. And then, yeah. of, of course, don't forget the Irish Wolf. Like, the Irish Wolf, mm -hmm. he, he has Irish. his moments, but he's just like. I wish he, you know, he could have, you know, played with us. I know, man. He never wants to get on. He always wants to buy him everything. We, okay, the reason I'm so upset is because we actually gave into it one day, bought him the damn game, and then he complained that it wasn't good enough and didn't play it with us. Yeah, and we got him uh, the Xbox 360 game. We got him Tony Hawk's Project 8, and he said it's not enough like Skate. But yeah, even though Skate, you know, it's great, but like, Tony Hawk is great too. I don't know what he expected it to be like. I guess he thought it was going to be a thumbstick game, but it just wasn't. That's not how Skate works, or Tony Hawk works. It's a lot different from Skate. Yeah, maybe he was going to use it like freaking downhill jam, uh, not downhill jam, freaking uh, like a ride or shred. I mean, even, even Skate 3 is diver very different than Tony Hawk, even though it's uh, Skate 3 is super unrealistic on easy mode, it's still nothing like Tony Hawk. Yeah. But it's like, it does realism, but it also has arcade feel, like, you know, you know what I mean? I'm excited for Skate 4. Oh yeah, dude, I'm excited for Skate 4 as well, especially like, because you know it's going to be a dang good game, dude. It really is. Oh yeah, it has. It, I mean, it has to be right. There's no way that they're gonna allow. I, I doubt they would allow a game with this much hype and this much time to be in development to get bad to, to be bad. That's why they probably haven't been pushing it to come out yet. You know, they could have easily made a really bad game and then pushed it to come out super soon within like this year. Yeah. And it would have been bad. Now, I really hope I don't choke on what I said if the game turns out to be bad, because if it does, I'm going to cry. Like, oh, I, I, would, I would cry too, dude. I've been f so badly wanting of it. Tweeting to EA, I always followed the, the, the tweet train. I always, you know, did all that stuff. Tell, letting them know that we would buy this game if you make it. I'm hoping yeah. that they make, I'm also hoping though that they make skateboards that promote the game like they did with every other game, that would be my hands up one if, if it's for a contest though, I definitely won't win it, but if they make like a collector's edition skateboard, I'll, I might buy it to like put Tony, on the wall. Like the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater one? Oh yeah, that was a cool board too, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater one. Yeah, I wish I could have got that dude, I would have been happy. I mean it's cool because you can actually ride it too. Yeah, it, and like, I would have been happy with that too. Um, I don't know, like, I don't have many, you know, collectible boards. I only have really one board that's collectible, and it's a Metallica board. I know you have an FA board, and I know you had a, it wasn't a Supreme board. My collectible boards I have is a Zero collab with Misfits. It's the Earth AD graphic, and then I have a Supreme one. And then I have this random good wood board that I got at Zoomies, and the reason I haven't skated it is because I bought it to have the whole DC team sign it, so I got like a like like Chris Cole's signature on there. Yeah. As well as a couple others. But my FA board I skate, my other Zero board I skate. I mean, I've skated all different types of brands. I've skated Element, Zero, and FA. I think those are it. Um, I want to try hockey one day, I think FA is where I'm going to be sticking for a while because I really like the the wider noses and so, stuff. So I got a lot of shit for uh, the one skateboard that I just bought, you know, for my birthday. The, yeah. uh, the, the Chun-Li one. Like, they don't like it because of how it's shaped. And I can't help it. It's a cruiser board, but, you know, I just want something, you know, nice looking. Like, don't judge my skateboard for that reason. I do have a skateboard from the company Payne that I use as a cruiser board. It's a normal size board, but I have cruiser wheels on it. Doesn't it? And, isn't uh, it the uh, the rough uh, the rough riders? Yeah, and I also have a Payne grip tape too. Payne is a band that's local to my area. They're like the Misfits, just a little bit. A little bit. I think they've played with the Misfits before. 
they're more of like the newer age misfits, so unfortunately they don't recreate the Glenn Danzig era, but yeah. But you know, it is what it is, you know, it's life, you know, it might not be like a certain group, but you know, it's like yeah. comparing Megadeth with Metallica, and that's not, yeah. that's not, not good at all, but <laughs> it's a terrible comparison, but yeah. And in case anybody watching's curious that's made it this far of what we're gonna do after this, I don't know about Millionaire Gaming, but I'm gonna take a fat sleep. Yeah, it it's getting pretty late. Like normally I'm pretty much sleeping by this time. But... Yeah, me too. It is 1.13 a.m. on a what on a Tuesday night? Going yeah. in, going into Wednesday night. Going into Wednesday night. This ain't no Friday night, Saturday night thing. This is this is a Tuesday night. Who Just, on a Tuesday night stays up until 1.13 a.m. talking about a video game? Yeah, uh, and just talking about life and stuff, just as well as that. But, you know, it's worth it in the end, because... Oh, yeah, we got this, finally. See, if I was you, I wouldn't even have the energy to edit this or anything. I'd just go to bed and do it in the morning. I see, that's the, that's the thing. It doesn't even take that long to edit it. It's maybe, you know, put the sensor in, but that's about it. It's, well, it's, for me, I'm just so tired right now. I'm trying to not say anything stupid. But, um, you know, it is what it is. It's it's freaking, uh, it's tiredness. And I feel you, because I, I, after my shift today, I just, I passed out. I was so tired. And, uh, yeah, it, I get so tired at times, dude. It's terrible. You know? And, and there, that, that was the last time I, I, I screwed up. I said, I'm just going to film the last challenge. That's it. This is over with and done with. <laughs> last challenge. So, that's uh, that's the last guy. Freaking, uh, he's, he's an odd person. Yeah, don't you unlock him if you beat him? Yeah. And his, just though his attire is just kind of odd. Not horrible, but it's just odd. Yeah. Yeah, there was only like three of those, honestly. Like the fight I and mean, the skateboarding things, it was just him, Mackenzie, and then Gunner, and then that's it. And then I unlocked him, and I think there was like Kevin as well, but he was kind of easy. Like I think the only thing with this guy, he uh, he's just really really fast. Yeah, how did it feel to beat this when you did? Um, almost unsatisfying. Uh, cause it's like no, well, not because of the ending. I mean, but mainly because. Oh well, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll say I'll. It's it's satisfying to beat it because it's another yeah. you know Tony Hawk game under my belt, for sure. That's like the best part. But I will say the only thing that I don't like is the ending. It's just kind of like the ending. It just it's it's a bother. It's like you want to deal with this, but I don't know. It's sometimes like it's annoying. Like when you get to that end of a video game and then you wanna you expect more but there wasn't. Makes you feel like everything you did before was a waste. Sometimes. If I'm quite honest, sometimes. When games are that bad with endings, it just makes it just I try not to let one I try to let the beginning or end of a game ruin my experience. For example, Last of Us Two. I try not to let that one scene ruin the Dude, that was rough. But I mean, it's still kind of messed up the, the rest of the story, because, like, there's so many, like, weird parts of the story that I just didn't like. Yeah, that whole, you know... Dude, imagine just playing a game, a playthrough of that game, and just, like, having to deal with the part where it's, like, Owen and Abby, and it's just that... <laughs> yeah, That's not good. I feel like with that game, if you didn't play the first one, it didn't hit you as bad. See, it, it hit me hard. Especially because, like, I beat it, like, twice. And I was yeah. doing it on my channel. Maybe I'll continue it sooner or later. You never know. But... I remember that, yeah. But you never know. So it just kind of bothered me. Because of how, like... How it just ended. Like, how it went. Like, through all that stuff. Through all the hell that you have to go through. And you just get, like, that kind of ending. And then freaking they left it off where they could say oh yeah uh ellie can have have a third game but it's like technically you wouldn't want to you know milk the series dry it's like when people do it for the fast uh, fast and furious like they milk it hard 
I would say they can make one more game to leave it as a trilogy, but I don't know. And there's I don't the know. finish. Yep. Literally there. by point seconds. Milliseconds. Yeah, I know. By 20 milliseconds. Yeah, so there we go. We beat Armando Urabak. That's his name. Uh, yeah. It was complete, and it was an insane amount of time. Like, I'll say just doing this entire, like, thing, because I had to do, you know, snippets, edits, all that stuff prior to that. It took about three hours to do everything on this area yeah. just to get to that level. And, uh, yeah, we unlocked our boy Armando, Armando Udabak. There you go. And we got the, uh, 500 crowns and roll credits. So, Jared, what'd you think of the game? This last... It was alright. This last, uh, this last moment together on Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam for the PlayStation 2. I thought it was good. Um, I mean, it was alright. Wasn't the best Tony Hawk game for sure. Wasn't one of the. I wouldn't know. I don't know. I wouldn't say it was one of the worst either, including ports and stuff like that. But it was. It was okay. Yeah, it wasn't horrible. It's not bad. It's not good either. But it's just there. Would I play it again? Probably not. <laughs> on a scale of like left being really bad and then right being the really like the best Tony Hawk games, it's on like the far left, but not. It's in like the middle left. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, I don't know, man. Sometimes, it's just like, there's some group, some good groups in this game. Like, m music wise, it was some decent groups. But the rest of it was just complete trash. Yeah. But, uh, what can you say? It's an older Tony Hawk game, but, you know, some people still like it. You know, I won't yeah. judge them for it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised of, like, actually, like, the people in here like public enemy and he just saw like freaking ministry and some other people you know like that's kind of interesting to see you know yeah i guess they didn't want to go too bad on the soundtrack yeah but you know thank you guys for watching so yeah thank you with that i am the shit and trio bits out peace